fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? I am so excited for this video because we are finally going to be trying the new Glam Light Ice Cream Dreams palette. This has been so long awaited and I just have such high hopes for this palette because I really love Glam Light's formula. So I'm hoping that this palette will be the same. I actually did go ahead and purchase this myself. I also received one in PR but I was scared that this was gonna sell out and I didn't have the notification that the PR package shipped yet. So I just went ahead and bought one for myself and figured I'd do a giveaway with the extra one, which will probably be in a future video. Here's what it looks like on the inside. I just love these bottom three rows so much. There's so many beautiful pastel tones. And then the top has definitely a lot of shades that I don't really think about when I think about pastels, but I think that it's probably going to make the palette a little bit more versatile. There's actually a bunch of pops of neutral in here as well, so if you do like a little bit of neutral with a little bit of pop of color, this could be a good palette option. And it was being advertised specifically as pastels that will work for every single skin tone, which I think is amazing. So I'm really excited to test this out. If you are new to my channel, my name is Amy and my niche on YouTube is talking about indie makeup brands. So if you'd like to see more content like that in your subscription feed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also picked up the Glam Light Concha highlighter in my order because I was super intrigued to try this and I was trying to get free shipping. And then Glam Light sent me a few of their last that went along with the ice cream collection. There's chocolate taco lashes, which look so, so cute. I think I am actually going to wear lashes today. I'm gonna attempt. And then I have the ice cream sandwich lash, which looks like this. And then the last one is a cookie ice cream sandwich that my son got a hold of, so hopefully I'll find those lashes eventually. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and start off this video with swatches of the entire Ice Cream Dreams palette and we're going to live swatch it. I'm going to do a look using the palette and at the end I'll give you my thoughts so far and I'm also going to be doing some comparisons to the Glam Light Cake palette, which I love as well. This is another rainbow palette, but this one's definitely a little bit brighter. However, I do think that there are some similar shades, so I'm gonna go ahead and do each palette and swatch them side by side so you can see the similarities and differences. Okay, so let's go ahead and start swatching. We have Chocolate, which is a kind of rich, deeper brown shade. There's Black Cherry, which is a deep, hot pink, and then Red Velvet, which is a little bit more of a kind of pinky coral. I'll feel very pigmented. I feel like red velvet is super close to the color of my shirt. All right, next we have pumpkin, which is a kind of soft orange tone. We have French vanilla, which is the first shimmer here. Ooh, okay, so it's super, super creamy, and it just looks to be like an icy white. You can see it has like a little bit of flakiness to it there, but I think kind of as you smooth it over, it doesn't seem to have that texture. And then we have butter pecan, which is a little bit of a deeper orange matte. Okay, next we have Salted Caramel, which is such a pretty metallic kind of taupey shade. If you like neutrals, that one, the foilness is just beautiful. We have Raspberry, which is a, another hot pink, maybe a little bit more on the like purple kind of side. And then we have Rocky Road, which is actually a little bit more of like a satiny shimmer. It still feels very creamy. It's a little bit less intense. It kind of has like a warm base and a golden shift. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to swatch this a little bit funny. I'm going to go ahead and finish off this row and then I'm going to do these neutrals here so we can do the colorful shades together just for comparison's sake because I know I won't be able to fit every single shade in this palette on my arm at once. So we're going to go ahead and do Pecan Praline. It's a bronze that has like little flecks of pink and gold in it. And then we have Cookie Dough here which actually does kind of look like cookie dough in the pan. It looks like separated colors, but now mixing together, it's another really beautiful kind of taupey champagne metallic. And then I'm gonna go ahead and swatch peanut butter here, which is such a soft matte, holy cow. Super, super soft, just lighter brown. Look at that shade. I think if you've been wanting to try some Glam Light and you wanted more neutral shades, 
There's a lot of really pretty options in this, which is kind of unexpected. It's not what I thought would be in a pastel palette, but I'm not mad at it. I definitely see myself using them a lot. Okay, so I think I am gonna go ahead and also do this shade real quick, which is called Strawberry Cheesecake, which is another more neutral shade. I mean, it's a little bit more on the rosy side, but it's really foiled and creamy. So there's the top-ish <laughs> half of the palette. I think everything looks really, really beautiful so far. Okay, so now jumping into the purples here, we have this shade, which is called Taro, which is a little bit more of a satin, but it's a really nice deep purple. We have Gelato, which looks like such a pretty lavender. Again, that one is a little bit more of a satin. I mean, I guess it's still pretty metallic, but I'm trying to differentiate between their metallic shades and then their like ultra sparkly, super intense metallics. And then we have Lemon here. That one is a really, really bright yellow. Oh man, that's a cr very creamy yellow. Okay, this next row I'm so excited about. We have Strawberry, which looks to be such a beautiful ultra metallic pink shade. I love those kind of colors. We have Blueberry Cheesecake, which is like a soft purple. Again, a little bit more on the satin side. And then we have Birthday Cake, which this one looks really, really intense. Look at that green. Oh man, you, as you can see by my shirt, I was definitely planning to do something probably a little bit like pinky purpley today, but that green is amazing. Now I'm torn. Look at that color. Wow. Wow. Okay, next we have a beautiful baby blue called Cotton Candy. Look at that shade. Maybe I'm doing a blue and green look today. Maybe I need to change my shirt. <laughs> we have Moki. That one is a soft baby pink. And then we have Honey Lavender, which is kind of like a, a light purple, but it has like a little tiny, tiny bit of a gray undertone. Okay, next we have Mint Chocolate, which is a pastel mint. I do feel like just from swatching the pastel shades so far, they're not quite as like powdery creamy as some of the more like bold neutral shades. And then we have Rainbow Sherbert, which actually that one's not that creamy either. That's interesting. I mean, it still has good pigmentation, but just the texture in the pan feels a lot different than the other metallics. And then we have Orange Cream. Okay, next we have the shade Bubblegum, which is another pastel pink, but this one is a little bit brighter. We have Pistachio, which looks like such a beautiful green. I mean, it looks more neon than pastel, but I really like the color. And then we have Cookie Monster, which is a periwinkle. Oops, my bad. <laughs> okay, last but not least, we have green tea, which is actually a very pigmented kind of teal shade, and then mango, which is a bright yellow. All right, so, oh my gosh, why am I so terrible at swatching today? There is all the colorful shades. I think it looks really, really beautiful. It is a little bit overwhelming with like the amount of shades. I feel like it probably could have been edited down a little bit, but overall, just looking at each individual shade, they look really, really pretty. Everything swatched very nice. The only shade that felt a little funny was this one right here, but I mean, you can see the pigmentation still decent. All right, guys, I'm ready to do a green eye look now. I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this shade right here called Mint Chocolate, and I did already go ahead and prime my eyes with the Curl and Pebble eyeshadow primer in the shade Parchment. All right, so I'm just picking up that shade on a fluffy blending brush, and I'm gonna throw it through my crease. I actually have an entire playlist of pastel eyeshadow reviews in case you are looking into pastel shadows and what's best. I mean, I have a whole battle of the pastel eyeshadow palettes, so I can link some different stuff down below. I'm just going to go ahead and blend. I know a lot of people feel like they work differently with pastels, and I can understand that if you do have... Um, more of like a tan, deeper skin tone, you need probably to uh, prime a little bit differently. But I still feel like pastels should be able to blend and build and 
work like a regular shadow. I found so many that do that that I expect nothing less. I actually had a comment the other day of someone telling me that I should apply a certain pastel with my finger to make it work and I'm like, I don't wanna have to do that when there's so many formulas that work really, really well. So I'm definitely holding these to a high standard, I would say. And so far, it feels like this is blending and building nicely. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go into this shade right here called Green Tea. Just taking that on a tinier brush. That one does have a little bit of kickback. And I'm gonna pop that on my outer V. I'm gonna go ahead and bring that in a little bit as well. It's definitely looking more pastel on the eye than it did when I swatched it. I'm torn because part of me loves like the whole minty vibes, but I also really wanna use this shade right here called Pistachio. So maybe I'll put that on the lower lash line. Again, everything is building and blending really nicely. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take Pistachio because I just can't help myself. It looks like such a pretty green. And I'm gonna pop that along the entire lower lash line. Again, it looks a bit more pastel on my eyes than it did swatched. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take that shade Birthday Cake and I'm gonna try and use it with a brush first just to see how it does. And put that all over my lid. Oh my gosh. Even with a brush, that is absolutely stunning. Wow. Then I'm just grabbing a little bit of that with my finger for the other eye. Oh wow. It's just so, so pretty. I think I have a new favorite eyeshadow shade. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to use cotton candy to highlight my inner corner. I thought that'd be something fun and different. I think you could use French vanilla too, and that's pretty, but I feel like I'm definitely gonna use that in a future look with some neutral shades, so may as well go the extra fun option today. So I'm just picking up a little bit of that and popping it on. I'm gonna try and not blow it out too much just because it is not like super dark, obviously. It's like a pastel baby blue, but it's still a little bit darker. So I'm gonna keep it more contained. And just lightly blend it onto the lower lash line. Okay, so it looks like I ended up with like the tiniest little bit of fallout, which is actually dusting right away. So that's good news. I'm gonna go ahead and take my ColourPop liner in the shade Prance, which is one of the most beautiful pastel liners. I actually saw Alamar Cosmetics sneak peeking that they're coming out with liners and they showed a shade very similar to this, which I'm really excited about because I believe that this one is no longer available, but I'm just gonna pop that in my waterline. I feel like it'll kind of pull the whole look together between all the blues and greens. I'm gonna go ahead and do the chocolate taco lashes today. So I'm gonna actually have to trim those because they look a little bit too long for my eyes. I'm going to throw on a liner. I'm gonna use the Drench Cosmetics one because it's the only liner that I have that's a liquid liner. It's the... Okay. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use the We Makeup More mascara. I'll do all that off camera because it's probably gonna take me a while and I'll be back. All right, it has been such a long time since I wore lashes. I don't even know who I am right now, but these were actually super, super easy to apply and they're the kind of lashes that I really like because they have enough band to them to make them easy to stick down, but also not too much to where they're like super stiff, but also not too little to where they feel flimsy. So they were like perfect to use. I really, really like the way they look. All right, so now let's go ahead and try the highlighter, which I put back in the box already, but I have to admit that when I first saw this and I opened it up in person, the shade is much different than what I originally was expecting. Here's what the packaging looks like. It's a very purple pink. I thought it was going to be more of a soft pink originally, so let me just go ahead and swatch it. I mean, it feels satiny. I mean, I would love that as an eyeshadow shade, but I don't know if maybe that's going to be more of like a blush topper for me. I'm going to grab that on a bit of a fluffier highlighting brush just to see how it looks. I 
me. It's really pretty. It's just going to be something that I blend back into my cheeks a little bit and that gives me more blush, but it does have a really beautiful like soft pinky iridescence, which I love that kind of tone. So now, last but not least for lips, I actually don't have any of the lip products from the Glam Light Ice Cream Collection. I would have bought them originally, but I thought that they were going to be in the PR package, which was my bad. Um, so I actually went ahead and made a purchase last night for a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of the Glam Light lip products because I've always wanted to try them. They have so many different flavors and so many different types of lip glosses. So I'll probably do a review and lip swatch video in the future. And I did grab the chocolate popsicle lip set. So stay tuned for videos on that. But I think today, what am I going to use? Hmm. I think today I'm going to go ahead and use my Reina Rebelde lipstick in the shade Alma Desnuda. Alright guys, so this is the finished look and I absolutely love, love, love how it turned out. I feel like that shimmer all over the lid is just everything. I'm glad that I took the extra five minutes to apply lashes because sometimes they can be so much fun. I do think that pastel looks in general look really good with just mascara because the shadows are so light that the lashes can really stand out but I do like lashes as well still. So, And there's so much more I wanna do with this palette. I feel like I can only say so much when there's like 30 shades and I only used a handful on my eyes today, but I will definitely do a full review of this in the future. For now, I can say that the pastels blended really well. They built up for me. I didn't get any patchiness. The shimmers look really, really stunning. And like I said, there's a bunch of neutral options in here. So I would say if you're looking for neutrals and pastels all together, this could be a good option but I'm gonna keep testing it out so now let's go ahead and do some comparisons to the cake palette okay so here's what the two palettes look like next to one another uh, it looks like the pans in the ice cream dreams palette are actually a little bit smaller so the palettes are a very similar size even though you're getting so many more shades with the ice cream dreams palette and I would say overall the bottom half of the ice cream dreams you can see is a lot more pastel than the more typical rainbow vibes of the cake palette, but I also see some shades that are pretty similar. Let's go ahead and start off with the yellows. We have banana and pineapple in the cake palette, and then mango and lemon in the Ice Cream Dreams palette. So here's banana and lemon. I mean, lemon is like a tiny bit less gold, but very, very similar. Here's pineapple and mango. So Mango from the Ice Cream Dreams palette is definitely more of a true yellow. I don't feel like there's anything similar to Strawberry, but the lavender shade right here, I'm going to compare to the shade Gelato. I feel like those actually look really similar. Okay, maybe not. There's Lavender and there's Gelato. So Gelato has less pink to it. I can definitely see the difference now. Next we have the shade Blueberry, which you could potentially compare to the shade Taro, but this one is definitely a lot more blue. And then we have the shade Guava. I'm gonna compare that to Strawberry Cheesecake. Oh, wow, those are so different. Okay, actually I'm gonna compare that to Rainbow Sherbet. No, that's actually really different too. Okay, you know what, <laughs> between those, <laughs> None of them are similar. I take it back. Okay, so when it comes to some of these like pinky red shades, I feel like there's definitely similar colors. So the peach shade here is hmm, kind of like a corally red. I think I'm going to compare that to red velvet. There's actually a shade called red velvet in this one too. So it's the same shade name, but different shades. So there's a cake palette and there's the Ice Cream Dreams palette. Oh, let me not get red on my sweater. So those give the same vibes, but they're not exactly the same shade. Okay, so next I'm going to compare the shade Cranberry to the shade Black Cherry. Here's cr Cranberry, and here's Black Cherry. So kind of similar, <laughs> again. I feel like some of these like base shades are a little repetitive, which to me doesn't make sense because the Ice Cream Dreams could have done without that. All right, next we have the shade Ube, which is a purple, but I feel like it's definitely darker than the shade Honey Lavender that's in the Glam Light palette. You can see they definitely have different tones. Very different. 
Okay, so there's also a shade here called Purple Frost, which there's nothing like that in the ice cream palette. There is an orange shimmer called Carrot, and there's really nothing all that similar. I mean, Pecan Praline is a lot more neutral, whereas the shade Carrot here is a lot more orange. Okay, next we have the shade Raspberry here, which I'm going to compare to the shade Raspberry in this palette. I think they look similar. They might be the same shade. Isn't that weird though for them to have shades that are like the same names, but they're not all the same shades, but some of them are similar because they've got birthday cake in here as well, but it's different. So there's Raspberry from the cake palette, which my skin is getting a little bit dry now, but that shade is less pigmented. And then we have Raspberry oh, from, okay, wow, okay. Well, those both kind of, seem like duds a little bit when I swatch them now, but it, raspberry swatched fine before, right? Maybe it's just my skin getting a little dry, sorry. But either way, those shades do look super, super similar. Next, we have the shade Red Velvet, which is a true red, and there doesn't look to be a true red in the ice cream palette. And then we have the shade Birthday Cake, which is a bright kind of blue shade, nothing similar. We've got the shade Icy Mint, which honestly, I mean, I guess, no, there's nothing I can really compare that to because it's way more blue than any of the shades in the ice cream palette. And then we have the shade Dulce de Leche, which is a kind of warm orangey brown. I mean, there's pumpkin there, right? You can see, and those, I mean, I, I think I'll swatch those two together, but I don't think they're gonna be the same tones. They're not the same. There's Dulce de Leche and there's pumpkin. Quite different. Next we have the shade Cinnamon and nothing in the ice cream palette is similar. I know there's a lot of neutrals going on, but those are all like a lot more taupey and champagne-y. And this is a gold with a green shift. It's absolutely stunning, but like I said, nothing close. And then we have the shade Chocolate in this palette, which there's another chocolate in the ice cream palette, so I'll swatch them next to each other. But I can already tell you that this one's more of a dud. It actually already has hard pan on it and it doesn't really want to come off as much. I should probably put some tape on it and see if I can get that hard band to go away, but it's definitely one of the least pigmented shades in the palette, and the shade Chocolate in the ice cream palette looks so, so much better. Very different. I mean, it looks like they're the same shade, it's just one is better than the other. <laughs> okay, then we have the shade Blue Raspberry, which is a beautiful sparkly blue, nothing similar. And we have Key Lime, which kind of reminds me of pistachio, that green right there. So let's go ahead and swatch those. All right, so there's Key Lime and there's pistachio. Key Lime is definitely a little bit deeper not the exact same tone. So I will say that between the two palettes, I'm sure there's certain color combos where you could do something and get a similar look. Like if you're using the yellows and the pinks, I think you could get the same kind of looks from both palettes, but I don't feel like they're like straight up duping each other. It feels like most shades are very, very different. Other than like the pinky shades, those are pretty close but I feel like between all the pastels and all the neutrals, it is bringing something new. I got so many requests for that comparison between those two palettes, so I really hope it was helpful. And that's everything for today's video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.